Hi guys, inside your uh, study guide you're going to find a page that says weapons and these are the various weapons that we'll utilize throughout the whole modules, uh, throughout the whole program. And um, so I just wanted to explain uh, a little bit about these weapons that you can learn to use them. Uh, some of these weapons right now maybe you are already using them in your existing martial art and um, some of them maybe not. So whether you want to use these weapons or you have another type of weapon that you want to incorporate uh, with your martial art uh, into the system of Kyosho pressure point striking, it's up to you, okay? So there's no uh, rule that says you must use the, the weapons that I'm telling you to use. You have your own, you can use that. That's perfectly fine. Now, first one is called the knife hand corner. Okay, it's just maybe karate, you know, the whole karate chop. Uh, the difference is, uh, sometimes, you know, uh, let's say for example, my root art is ninjutsu. You know, we have strikes, shutos, that we strike, and we've always been taught to strike with the flat bottom of our palm. But this, this is actually not really a very good weapon because it's soft, all right? Now, where we want to strike is actually at the base of the palm right here because it's a bit harder. There's a bone right here and this is very good for getting in. So whether you're striking on the side, uh, this side, okay, we want to basically incorporate a two-way action into the strike. So for example, I've got my friend here, Chip. Okay, if I'm doing a strike here to let's say large intestine 18, which is on the side of the neck. Um, if you recall, this is the Frankenstein point. Okay, you've got the Frankenstein bolts right here. So if I'm doing a karate chop, okay, or, or shuto, okay, I can strike that point with the corner of my palm. Okay, now the back fist, uh, we don't really want to strike here, okay, and we don't want to strike here, we want to use the knuckle, okay, so if you're striking a point, let's say stomach fly for example, you can be striking, we strike with that point. We don't want to be doing a fist striking here, okay? Uh, we want to use the point. Basically, this is like a blunt object, and this becomes a, a tip, okay? And makes it much more precise. Now, the other one in the book is the elbow, okay? You've got your elbow. The elbow is very good for striking the body, uh, or you can even use the legs if the guy's very tall or if you're lower down for some reason. You can use it for striking into the head, even the arms. Um, so never forget using your elbow as a weapon. Okay, it's very good for going into some of the body points on the, on the torso. You can actually use it for, for the whole body as well. Now, the next one is the hammer fist, okay, which is the pinky knuckle here. It's very good for some of these face uh, stomach 5 or MHN18, which is the mental nerve uh, located right here. You can strike in and down. Um, other parts of the body, you can even do pericardium too. So you can strike in with the hammer fist or with the, the knuckle. So you've got those two options. The forearm is another very good weapon. Uh, one thing with forearm, uh, if you I go this way here, if I have my forearm like this, it's, it's a bit soft. If you tilt your hand back, it becomes harder. So you can keep that in mind when you're striking. You strike, but you bend your hand slightly back, okay, towards the outside of your arm, okay? So this is very good if you're doing arm bars, okay? If you turn in the wrist, whoops, I lost this hand there. Okay, if you're doing an arm bar, strike with the outside of your arm, okay? You don't really want to strike on the inside, okay, because it's very soft, and also if the person has a knife, he may slash your wrist, and then if you cut your wrist, or if the wrist gets cut, it's going to start to bleed, your hands will get slippery, and, and not a very good situation. But the outside, if you cut the outside, you can still fight, okay? You'll still be able to succeed. 
the next one is the, um, the all in the bone, which is at the back here. Okay, there's another one very good for striking also, into the neck, into the arms. Um, you can use the all in the bone also for rolling, okay, on triple warmer 11 or triple warmer 12. Okay, that's very good. You can use the whole bone actually, not just the, the, the knuckle here, at the, no, sorry, not just the uh, all the bone knuckle, but you can use the entire bone. It's a very strong bone. Okay, and then you've got, uh, the next one is the fist knuckle, okay, which is here. So this is very good if you want to strike into the neck as well, the same neck points. If you want to get the other side from here, you can strike in, or if you're on this side, you can strike in as well. Okay, so depending on the situation that you're at, even if you want to strike on the side of the body or into the legs, okay, especially spleen 11, spleen 10, Okay, it's very good bone for striking. Uh, you can also even use the if you're, the thumb. Okay, use the first knuckle bone there, and you can strike in here, strike up there, strike into any of the arm points. So you have different options how you want to use it. Now, the next one is the radial bone. Okay, <coughs> basically you take your hand, bring your thumb in, and then. This creates a nice flat surface here. Okay, see that? Flat surface. Now you can use this. This is very good if you want to strike to the back of the neck. Okay, so especially going into bladder 10 or, or um, uh, gallbladder 20, if you want to strike into those points for, for causing some dizziness, it's very good to use the radial bone. You can even use the radial bone for the side of the neck. Very good as well. Um, you, know, you can use it even for the knees, no, sorry, the inside of the legs, you can use that for. Um, okay, the next one, okay, that's the rich hand. Okay, the next one is a straight punch. Straight punch, we'll be using the two knuckles here. Straight punch is very good for the center, uh, if you're going for the conception vessel, uh, or even some of the points on the side, the liver, gallbladder, the spleen, very good to strike into those. And remember, when you're striking in, you have a twist and down motion, okay? So this creates two-way action. The key to activating the pressure points is using two-way action. It's not just keeping your fist straight, okay? Whether it's this way or this way, you cannot activate the pressure points that way. You need to have a little force multiplier. You need to have something to, to create that little juice that sends the electricity into the pressure point, and that is called two-way action. So if you're, you're practicing these points or the drills uh, with a UK or a partner or friend, uh, you're not getting results, keep in mind two-way action, okay? And then you'll see things will change. At the beginning when I first started, um, I remember the first year, the first few months, and then going into the first year, um, I recorded all my sessions and my practicing, and then uh, when I look back at them now, it's a joke, okay? How I was striking then to how I strike now is a complete major difference, okay? I learned things, um, and I learned to apply things more correctly. So at the beginning, it's a learning curve. You're going to be learning how to strike. You're, you've been taught how to strike one way with your martial art, so you need to maybe make some fine adjustments to that and um, get it all working together. Okay, and that'll help increase your success using the pressure points with your martial art. So um, another another one you can use too is the back, okay, of the of your wrist here. It's very good for striking into body parts. Uh, not body parts body points on the torso, okay? So whether this way, or this way, or this way, this way. You can even use it for the head. You've got different options there as well. And don't forget the knee, okay, is another weapon. Okay, if you want to go into knee points, uh, you can use your knee for that. So you got elbow, you got knee. You use your whole body as a weapon, okay? Even you can use your head, okay? Going into the points, okay? Maybe not so effective, but it's an option, whatever it takes. So, 
that basically concludes all the weapons. Uh, if you've got any questions, you can, you can email me and I'll be glad to answer. Okay, thank you very much.